Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. According to RealClearPolling.com, we have an updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. All right, she has RealClearPolling.com up on the screen. Donald Trump is in the lead with 48.4% to Kamala Harris's 48.3%. In the top battleground states, he's got a slight edge over her. But in the national polling, she has a 2% lead over him somehow. 2% would be two-point lead. And uh, President Joe Biden's <laughs> approval, 55.8% disapprove, 41.3% approve. So she's his vice president. It doesn't make any sense how she's ahead with a disapproval of their administration that high. So let's move on to the election map and fill it in with the RealClearPolling.com statistics. We are not biased, by the way. Just honest. Washington State, with 12 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon, with 8 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. California, with 54 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Hawaii, with four electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Montana, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, according to RealClearPolling.com, Nevada has Harris at a 1.1 lead over Donald Trump, therefore making Nevada blue for Kamala Harris. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, according to RealClearPolling.com, Arizona, Trump has a 1.4 lead over Harris, grabbing him those sacred 11 electoral votes. Arizona is red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with 5 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Texas with 40 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Dakota with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, the state at large, is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The second district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris. Nebraska at large with the two electoral votes on the median at the top right is red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin, according to RealClearPolling.com, Harris has a 0.8 lead over Donald J. Trump in Wisconsin, nabbing her the sweet 10 electoral votes. Michigan, according to RealClearPolling.com, Michigan, Harris has a 0.7 lead over Trump, nabbing her those sacred 15 electoral votes, making Michigan blue for Kamala Harris. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Iowa, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is pink for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. 
Mississippi, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is pink for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 1.5 lead over Harris, grabbing him those 16 sacred electoral votes. Georgia is red for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina, with its nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 0.6 lead over Harris in North Carolina, grabbing him those 16 much-needed electoral votes. Therefore, Donald J. Trump won North Carolina as of right now. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania is still odd, going on three weeks. Pennsylvania is a deadlocked high, 48.2%. It makes me think something shady is happening in Pennsylvania, either by the Republicans or by the Democrats. So Pennsylvania will not be colored in. That's very odd that a state is at 48.2% for both candidates for three weeks now. Everything else, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, and the rest are all blue for Kamala Harris, except for the main part of Maine is red, and the second district of Maine, sorry, the first district of Maine is blue for Kamala Harris. Therefore, that gives Donald J. Trump 262 electoral votes, Kamala Harris 257, with the deciding state being Pennsylvania, with its 19 electoral votes. Who do you want to win, baby? Trump. And why do you want him to win? To make America great. And who do I want to win? I don't care because I'm not biased. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are... Brownie out.